Where are we at? Where are we? If you guys didn't already know, Lewis is the biggest vape fanboy, Subaru. No, Larry, I just, I kind of like Subarus. I kind know. of? Kind of. That's all he drives. That's all he talks about. Subaru-kun, 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 Subaru-kun. Suki desu. He has a very, very awesome uh, GCA swapped, of course. This is it. This is like the mecca right here of Subaru, STI. This is their new showroom right outside of Tokyo. So we're gonna check it out and we're gonna kind of show you guys what they have here. There's Dino. Hi Dino! You drive like an Italian, by the way. <laughs> so this is cool. So this is a painting based off of a photo shot by Lars Gange. Anytime we get a chance, we cover for him because sometimes he's busy, sometimes he's shooting other things. But uh, yeah, shout out to you, Lars. Yeah. But so this, this is cool. This was from, the photo itself is from 2015. Uh, they campaigned four cars that year for the final round of the now defunct GRC series. Kind of in heaven right now, kind of. Yeah, I noticed that. So do you need tissues right now or later? I've handled it, Larry. I've handled okay, it. He handled it. This is actually Colin McRae's working, functional, in perfect condition car. Just get ready, just get ready. Like, if you have like a BPM, like... <laughs> Lewis, where's your vape? Where's your vape point pen? Uh, oh, <laughs> making clouds. Uh, all right, so in terms of Subarus, I think this is probably the top, right? Um, 1998 Colin McRae, legend. This is pretty friggin' legit. Oh, man. It's his real WRC car. <gasps> Pro Drive? Oh, my God. All of this? I can't believe they built this that long ago. Yeah, this is 20 years old, right? Over 20 years old. Yeah. Holy but like, look at this. I mean, just this, favorite. this is the only thing that broke. I bet Colin was like, oh, I gotta adjust the AC. And then he oh, broke it, bro. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this, diff one, diff two, all it's these little much, things. It's crazy how much carbon fiber there is. It's yeah, like, look at that, pro drive. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess they, they have, have to they just- have emergency lights for, I don't know. Did you just turn on the emergency lights, sir, please? Uh, I don't think, I don't think there's a battery in here. I think it's- All right, so that's kind of the thing about this. It's so crazy that, <laughs> Whoa, is that the vent? Yeah, it's a vent you can open up. That's pretty awesome. If you're in the Tokyo area and you're a big Subaru vape boy like uh, Lewis here, you can come here and they'll let you sit in the cars, touch them, feel them, take them pictures of them, enjoy them. This is so cool. I'm so glad we came here. Let's try to turn it on. Oh, I no. love this. This is the legend, man. The legend sat in here. Let's just absorb all the Irish sweat and maybe we can yeah. become half the driver he is. But look at this, like the stock. It's, all, uh, it's crazy how much carbon fiber they're using for everything. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. I think that out of all things, that's my favorite part. That, that is so cool. You, oh. oh! Take it, take it, take it for your car. Take it. Had your kids, had your wife, and had your husband because they raping everybody out here. Don't take anything. Yeah. I'll, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Would you like to take it? photo with the trophy and then this is the engine start and stop so what happens when you push it i don't know let's find out oh what, when you push it he comes here with the key to open it i get it this this is so crazy okay so this would never happen in the u.s in the u.s somebody would come here pose with it and then they would leave with it <laughs> so this is the actual, actual trophy. trophy from 2002? This is 2003, I think. Oh. Right GB, when Peter Sobel won Right GB. Uh -huh. So this is their first ever win? Yeah, yeah, our first ever win. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so cool. So which one are you going to take a picture with? <laughs> I'll take first win. Oh, okay. Yeah? Oh, nice choice, nice choice. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm gonna, see, I'm Instagram gonna, photo. yeah, I'm gonna do a little Instagram photo of you. Yeah.
Yeah, I keep making fun of Lewis. I appreciate these cars too. I think it's so awesome. Rally is such a big thing in terms of motorsports. We love shooting racing and these are just so cool and iconic and great looking cars. And I mean, you can't go to a uh, Subaru meet without seeing a bunch of these liveried cars, you know? Have you seen this yet? All right, so this is interesting in that this uh, is a lineage of all of the cars, but it's cool. They're looking for these models. And then when you donate the actual model, it actually tells, it actually puts your name here. So it's like, dear friend, you know, thank you for donating this model. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool because you can yeah. contribute to this collection. Yeah, you can put your way. name in there forever. Yeah. It's pretty dope. The funniest one though is, this one right here, mm -hmm. the 2003 one, because this is the year that Peter Solberg won the world championship mm -hmm. and they're missing that car. You would think that someone would have come forward with that car, but. Right. So I guess that's up to you to donate one. You gotta find one and then you donate it to this museum. Or you can just keep it in your room and look at it. Yeah, oh, that too. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice how like all of these wheels are gold. Yeah. Gold, 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 gold. And you go back here and this one's white. Right. So it's kind of a funny story that not many people know about. Speedline accidentally gave them like gold wheels and the team had no other choice but to use them. I think they wanted to opt for black or something and they ended up getting a podium for that rally. And then they're like, all right, well, we'll just run gold wheels for you know, however long. And now it's kind of like a staple thing. Wow, now every single Subaru rally car has gold wheels, including yours. Yeah, actually. And it's complete, it's like a complete accident on Speedline's part. So thank you, Speedline, for making it happen. Without a doubt, if you guys are in the Tokyo area, please come here, check it out. It's open to the public. Hey, maybe you can get your name into the museum. You can donate your car. You can sign this uh, wall here, which it's crazy. So many people, so many legends have signed this, including Peter Solberg. And then uh, Akio Toyota signed it right there. Look at that, Petter Solberg's signature right there. So cool. But yeah, thank you again to Yokohama Tire and KW Suspension for flying us out here to Japan. They're definitely big supporters in what we do here at Hoonigan Autofocus, so make sure you support our sponsors.